Hello, my beautifuls. Welcome back to another episode of the Euro Cooking Connect. Once again, thank you so very much for joining me. Guys, before we get started, look what I got. I got this in the mail. It's my new mic. And it doesn't work. <laughs> so I think there's something wrong with the USB cable because it seems quite long and it won't, it won't uh, go into the USB port all the way. I'm, I'm assuming that what it might be. However, I digress. If you know what's wrong with it, uh, let me know in the comments down below. I might be missing something. Guys, on today's segment of Memories of Macedonia, I'm going to be doing a soup or stew that's beloved all over the country. What we're making is grashak chorba. That, guys, is a pea stew. Now, it's not your typical pea soup where it's blended and pureed. You'll see what I mean. And there is an option to either add meat or omit meat altogether. I'm going to be adding meat to mine. However, you can completely omit it and keep this vegetarian or vegan. Guys, without further ado, let's get in the kitchen and make Grashak Chorba. <laughs> hey guys, welcome to the kitchen countertop. You're going to want to start by dicing a couple of onions. What you want to do is peel and dice a couple of carrots. So guys, all of the description amounts will be below in the show more. Now you can also use other vegetables if you like, such as potatoes. I'm keeping it simple and keeping it classic. So continue with your other carrot and I'll show you what else I put in. Lastly guys, what I have here is a hot pepper which I've deseeded. This is optional. You don't have to add the hot pepper, or if you like, you can add a sweet pepper. Not too much, just a bit. That's my last vegetable component. As I said, guys, if you want, you can add potato as well. Hey guys, I have in my pot here um, just a bit of vegetable oil. You can use uh, vegetable oil um, and olive oil if you like. I'm gonna add my veggies now. And I'm gonna give these a stir in the oil. I am not going to season my vegetables right now because there'll be enough of a salty element added to this. So just sweat these on a medium high heat for about three minutes to four minutes and then I'll show you what I do next. All right guys my veggies have sweat for about five minutes or so at which point i'm going to add my meat now guys this is optional you do not have to add meat but if you are this is the time to add it you can use cubed up chicken pork or which seems to be the most traditional would be a ground beef so i got some beautiful fresh ground beef for my butcher and what you're going to want to do is break this up and brown this with the rest of the veggies and I'll bring you back and show you what that looks like. Alright guys, my ground beef is starting to take on some color and brown up so at this point I want to go ahead and add our seasonings. What I have is some vegeta. You can use a vegetable um, stock or cube if you like um, and some garlic granules. Then I want to go ahead and add some paprika. And again, guys, all of my amounts will be below in the description bar. 
some black pepper. And if you like, a little bit of hot pepper flakes. Now guys, don't forget I have a hot pepper in here. So I'm not going to go crazy. You can always add more. And I'm not adding salt, as you notice, because the Vegeta has salt in it. As does my vegetable stock, which I'm going to add. Now guys, you do not have to use vegetable stock. You can use beef stock, chicken stock, pork stock, or just plain old water. So this is mixed up. To which now I'm going to go ahead and add some tomato puree or tomato paste. Give that a mix to get the raw flavor out of the tomato paste it's out. It smells really good, guys. This is a very simple recipe, guys, and the flavors are just amazing. There's not a lot of them, but they are certainly working all together. Now, I'm going to add my vegetable stock. And I have a bit of hot water on the standby in case I need it, which I think I may need. So that was about a thousand mils of stock and then maybe a half a cup more. So guys, you play it by ear. Um, I'm only using um, a half a kilo of ground beef. If you're using more, you may need more stock. So now what I'm gonna do, is add some laurel leaves or bay leaves. Two or three, mine are really tiny, so I've added uh, a few. What I'm gonna do now, guys, is put this onto a simmer. Well, bring it to a boil first, and once it reaches a boil, I'm gonna simmer this, and I'll put a lid on it, and I'll bring you back then. Hey gang, I've just taken the lid off of my torba and I've tasted it for a seasoning, and it's perfect. So I am not going to add any salt or any more seasoning to mine. Please taste yours, you may need to add. Right, so the star of the show obviously is peas. Green peas, garden peas. Um, guys, you can use fresh if you have them. By all means, more power to you. There's nothing wrong with frozen Bean peas. They are flash frozen at the great, amazing moment of their ripeness and they're sweet and tender. So, adding in my peas, and they are the star of the show. So, I'm using the whole bag, which is, I believe, uh, 800 grams. At this point, guys, you can turn your heat off. Peas do not need to cook per se, they just need to heat through. So give it a mix, pop the lid on, give it about 10-15 minutes, taste and if the peas are nice and tender but with a bit of a pop, your chorba is ready. Alright guys, we'll see you in just a bit. Hey guys, it's time to plate up our Grashok Torba. I let the peas go for just a little while. They don't need to be overcooked, as I have said, okay? So now we'll plate up. I want to make sure you get some of that meat, broth, veggies, and of course the peas. As this is, as I said, <clears throat> a very simple, simple recipe, but it is just packed with flavors. Um, spices, again, I will tell you how much I added, but it really is your taste, guys. 
Look at that suit. That looks so beautiful. Very good for you. Very, very healthy. What I have in the oven. Woo, hot. Just a little bit of pita with some sesame seed. And guys, I'm all set to go. Now, if you like, be a bit more decadent, a little dollop of Islam Leco, or you can use sour cream. Oh, ho, 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 yes. Guys, I want to eat. Hmm. Thank you so much for watching this episode of the Euro Cooking Canuck and Memories of Macedonia. Please like, share, subscribe if you haven't. And I want to thank, from the bottom of my heart, all of my recent subscribers who pushed me over the thousand um, subscriber limit. Thank you so very much. Guys, again, I can't thank you enough. Please enjoy this soup. It's wonderful. There'll be a few picks to follow, and we'll see you next time on Memories of Macedonia. Hey there, follow Ciao.